It's easy to spot sea otters along the coast of California, but these furry creatures may not shake their threatened status anytime soon. The population in California has been decreasing for the past three years, and scientists at the United States Geological Survey are working to figure out why. They peer through a telescope and spy on the otters' diets and behavior. Often, otters get sick from eating tainted prey, and their favorite meals could leave them more exposed to getting different diseases. Runoff washes toxins from land into the oceans. These chemicals concentrate in shellfish and deliver a dose of poison to hungry otters searching for a snack. Over the past few years, scientists have noticed a worrisome trend. More otters are dying from shark bites than before, especially those living near Morro Bay. They've noticed more elephant seals in this area, and they think sharks have found the feast too. These toothy predators could be patrolling the waters close to shore and biting anything that's the size of a baby seal, including otters. Scientists think the sharks just taste the otters and then spit them out, because the carcasses that wash ashore aren't missing any flippers or flesh. But even one puncture wound can be deadly. Early analysis indicates that shark bite may be influencing the population size more than disease. This recent population decline follows more than 20 years of steady growth, and scientists are eager to get a handle on what's causing this increased number of shark bites. With fewer otters around, healthy kelp forests could suffer. Otters gorge themselves on urchins and abalone that graze on tiny kelp plants. A small 60-pound male can eat 20 pounds of food in a day. Without otters, the grazers take over, creating an area called an urchin barren. Shark bite is just one factor contributing to the declining otter population. The best way to protect otters, scientists say, is to clean up toxic runoff flowing into the ocean. And that'll make the ocean a better place for us, too.